Hello. In this video, we're going to go over how to convert bromine from negative 75 degrees Celsius solid to positive 75 degrees Celsius gas. <clears throat> the first thing we suggest doing is mapping this out. That way we can easily find the total energy required for each section. The first part is we have negative 75 degrees. We need to bring that to, as a solid, we need to bring that to its melting point. And we can see here the melting point is at negative 7 degrees Celsius for bromide. So we can say, all right, I need to take this negative 75 degrees to negative 7 degrees Celsius. And that's going to be my Q1. Next, at negative 70 degrees Celsius, we are going to be melting. That is Q2. And on the melts, we do not change temperatures. That's just the energy of changing, of phase changing. So that's Q2. I'm going to, I'm going to write the Qs after. Actually, I'm going to write them at the same time, but with different color. So this is Q1. This is Q2. Next, since we're still at negative seven degrees Celsius, I need to bring that now to its boiling point at 59 degrees Celsius. This is going to be Q3. At 59 degrees Celsius, we boil. It doesn't change at the end of boiling. We have a phase change to be my Q4. Finally, we need to make that last jump to our final temperature of positive 75 degrees. This will be our Q5. So our Q1 is going to be MCAT, where we have mass times Ooh, wow. Mass times specific heat times delta T, which is change in temperature. So the mass is 25. The specific heat for Q1 is a solid. So the specific heat for a solid bromine's up here for 0.474. It had to be given to us or else we weren't going to find that. And our change in temperature is final minus initial. So we're going to plug all that in. 25 times 0.474 times negative 7 minus negative 75. And we get 805. 0.8 kilojoules. Oh, joules. Sorry. Joules. So if you want kilojoules, you just have to divide that by 1,000. Next, what you're going to get is Q2. For Q2, we have that phase change. In the phase change, we're going to take mass divided by or well, multiplied or divided by one over the molar mass of bromine, which we should look up. The molar mass of bromine is 79.9 grams for one mole of bromine. This will then, we can now convert that using the, the, the fusion that is necessary to convert and melt. And that is going to be 5.29 kilojoules per each mole. So we're going to multiply that through 25 divided by 79.9 multiplied by 5.29 and we see we get 1.655 kilojoules next what we're going to need to do is find q3 q3 is a normal mcat because we have a change in temperature so we have mass times now for the specific heat for liquid bromine, which is 0.226 joules. And then we'll have temperature change, which is final minus initial. There, we're going to plug that all into the calculator. 25.226, 59 minus negative 7. 
372.9 joules. All right. Next, we're going to have Q4, which is another phase change. We're going to boil. So we're going to use the mass. We're going to multiply that by one over the molar mass, which we found above to be 79.9. Multiply that by our delta H of, evap of delta H evaporation. And we see we have 15.44 kilojoules. Multiply that out. 25 times 15.44 divided by 79.9. And I get 4.83 kilojoules. Last phase defined is Q5, which is our last temperature change. We'll have our mass multiplied by our specific heat, which is given right here. 1.54 joules times the temperature change, which is 75 minus 59. We see 25 times 1.54 times 75 minus 59 is equal to 616 joules. So I now lastly, we're going to want to add all of these up to find total joules and convert what is not in joules into joules that way we have a nice easy thing we can just plug into the calculator there we see we have all of our joules at together now we're just going to add them up and there we go this total would take 8,279.7 joules to convert bromine solid, 25 grams of bromine solid at negative 75 degrees all the way to bromine gas at 75 degrees Celsius. If you have another question regarding a, question, uh, a chemistry problem or math or physics, please let me know. Other than that, hope everyone has a great day.